Hello, this is Terrell Pauly, and welcome to the next video in the that that's for the HL7 tutorial for beginners. I believe this is number is this number four. So where we just last left off here, we we previously talked about the segment attribute table. So where we last left off, we talked about segments and um, and how segments are a collection of fields, right? And then um, we talked about how the segment attribute table defines all the fields for segment. Next, let's talk about uh, seg the actual segment fields. So segment fields in a segment are made up of components. Okay. And components can contain subcomponents. So we have the... Uh, components are separated by the the carrot and the subcomponents are separated by the ampersand so if we take a look at our pit segment uh position position field position number five or field num number five uh stark stark um tony you'll see that um it's actually made up of two components in our example, in our in our PID uh, example message, it's made up of two components, and you'll see that um, at the bottom here is the actual uh, the definition or the, the the it it actually lists the all the components that make up that field. So what you'll see here is um, so what you see here is a uh, family name so if this if this uh ampersand last name prefix and it, it just lets you know how to actually how, how the actual field is defined or what makes up the different parts of the field so you can see is um so you can see how we have the last name which is the family, the family name. And then for our example here for start Tony, the family name is the last name. And then we have the, uh, carrot and then we have the first name. So if we wanted to give Tony a middle initial, we could come here, right? You can come here it's how it's defined. We'd have to use the definition so we could come Where's my carrot? Oh, there we go. We can kind of come here and give them a middle initial, middle initial for a, and and we have to use the definition of for this field, etc. If we wanted to, if Tony had a last name prefix like uh, Saint, you know, or or let me see, last name prefix at a. Let's say so. It, if his name was Tony H. Stark Saint, then we could do. We would have to do. Come here. We would put a ampersand, and then we would put Saint, and it would be something like that. Right, it'll be, it'll be something like that, and that uh, and if we also wanted to give Tony a let's say a, a prefix, so this is how it will look. We have the middle, so we start here, so we have the middle initial. Um, We have the middle initial. Okay, so next we have a we have a suffix. We just have one, so it'll just be one. So skip. Actually, I think it would be two. 
and then the prefix would be you know if he had a prefix of captain let's say his prefix was you know it's captain captain tony a stark um saint <laughs> so we have two carrots in here and the reason that we have two carrots is because we have one carrot is for the space you know separating the two components and then then the second carrot is for we're not we're skipping the actual suffix and that's why it has two carrots that makes sense so uh so yeah so we have the um so these are the uh components and subcomponents of a field and this is how you actually be able to and, and all of these details are actually defined in the HO7 spec that you'd be able to take a look at and, and actually get the details on each field and what components make up that uh and, and subcomponent and sub components and and or subcomponents. So and you can have a lot and this so like the the name, the patient name field has a lot of sub has a lot of components to it, you know, has these all these different components to it, which could which can be used. So I think that that's I think we've actually kind of reached the end of our HL7 tutorial for beginners. This actually the um at least the the intro anyway. I could actually make more if uh, you found this helpful. I can add in some more stuff if you have any more questions about it. You know, leave them in the comment section below. So let's just kind of recap over everything a little bit. So an HL7 message is a just a collection of 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 segments, right? The the message structure is determined by the trigger event. We saw the trigger event like a, a register or patient. That's the trigger event ADT A04. Um, that determines the message structure. The abstract, the message structure of any message can be found in the HO7 specification document. You'll be able to find that there. Now, a segment is a collection of fields, right? And fields are separated by the pipe delimiter. Okay. And fields can contain components that are separated by the, by the carrot, and components can be made up of subcomponents separated by the ampersand. So I think that that, that kind of wrap things up. I hope that this training has been useful and helpful. And uh, if you would like to actually obtain this uh, the PDF of this uh, training uh, document, you can actually go to hl7tutorial.com and it'll be listed on there for a few bucks, uh, three to five dollars, something like that. Also, again. I learned this this whole entire training. I am myself and not a uh, HL7 interface engineer. Not at all. Uh, my specialty is in PACS, uh, Diacom, RIS, things of that nature. I learned this entire training was actually made possible because I, of the book that I read, which is HL7 for busy professionals. I learned all of all of this. This training was uh, was from this book. So, um, if you, I, I would, so needless to say, I would recommend the book. If you'd like to get a copy of it, it's, uh, actually not long. It's a pretty, pretty short book. It's very good read. You get a lot of good information out of it. Uh, I'll link to that, the, uh, link to where you can get a copy of the book and the description too, as well. That is a, and that is an affiliate link. But um, it'll be at no extra cost for you. So again, hope this tutorial has been helpful. Until next time, my name is Terrell Pauly. Take care.